Hi all, today we will discuss an important current affairs for 23rd September. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. At the end of the video, I will ask you all the questions which we discuss in this video. You need to pause the video after each question I ask at the end and write the answer in the comments. You need to test yourself how many questions you are able to answer. And also we will learn one vocabulary word on daily basis. So watch the video till the end. Let's start. First question is, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has launched Gartak Fiber Project in which state recently? Answer is Bihar. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the Gartak Fiber Project in Bihar. Under this, all the villages of Bihar will be connected through optical fiber internet service. This project will be executed by combined efforts of Department of Telecom, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology and Common Service Centers. Government also announced its target to connect 6 lakh villages across the country to the internet in the coming 1000 days. Also remember some recent news about Bihar. Recently Prime Minister Narendra Modi has inaugurated Kosi Rail Mega Bridge in Bihar. And also Prime Minister inaugurated 900 crore worth petroleum project in Bihar. Another one is Union Minister Nitin Gadkari inaugurated upstream carriageway of Mahatma Gandhi bridge in Bihar and another one is the union cabinet has approved establishment of a new all India institute of medical sciences at Darbanga Bihar. Also remember India's first Kisan rail was between Maharashtra's Devlali and Bihar's Danapur railway station and recently we discussed about South India's first Kisan rail. Where was it flagged off? Andhra Pradesh. Next question is, first ever direct cargo ferry service unveiled between India and which country recently? Right answer is Maldives. India and the Maldives has launched the first ever direct cargo ferry service to boost trade between the two countries. The cargo ferry service will connect the Indian ports of Tutikorin and Cochin ports with the ports in the Maldives. This initiative will help to cut costs and reduce the time taken to transport goods between the two countries. Some recent news about India and Maldives are India and Maldives signed a contract for the development of five ecotourism zones. India and Maldives signed a contract for construction of fish processing plants. India signed another agreement with Maldives for establishment of emergency medical services. And also India handed over outdoor fitness equipment for 61 islands across Maldives. About Maldives. Maldives is in South Asia, its capital is Malay and currency is Maldivian Rufiya. Next one is, government unveiled which multi-stakeholder platform to prepare young people career ready as per 21st century? Right answer is UA. Sports Ministry and UNICEF have signed a statement of intent to establish UA Generation Unlimited, a global multi-stakeholder platform in India to equip young people in India with the skills they need to fulfill their potential and lift up their communities. The UI initiative is linked to the Global Generation Unlimited Movement of UNICEF which began in New York in September 2018. The objective of UI project is to support young people by providing entrepreneurship classes online and offline, upskilling of young people on 21st century works and skills create linkages with aspirational economic opportunities and providing career guidance support to young people. Next one is, when is World Rhino Day observed? Answer is 22nd September. World Rhino Day is observed every year on 22nd September. This day is observed to raise awareness of the need to protect all the existing species of rhinoceros. Do you know what are these five remaining species? Black Rhino. Greater One Horn Rhino, White Rhino, Sumatran Rhino and Javan Rhino. World Rhino Day was first announced by World Wildlife Fund South Africa in 2010 and is being observed internationally since 2011. Next question is, who is the author of the book titled Kitchens of Gratitude? Answer is Vikas Kanna. Vikas Kanna is the author of the book Kitchens of Gratitude in which he has written about his Feed India initiative. Recently we discussed about Feed India. If you remember, 
Chef Vikas Khanna has been honored with the 2020 Asia Game Changer Award for his initiative Feed India. Feed India initiative is one of the largest food drives in the world serving meals to the underprivileged during the COVID-19 pandemic. And this book is about this initiative and this will be released in 2021. Next question is. Google Pay has partnered with which financial services corporation for card based payments with tokenization? Answer is Visa. Google Pay has partnered with Visa for tokenization that will enable users to safely transact with their debit or credit cards. Through tokenization, Google Pay users can make payment by using the debit or credit card without physically sharing their credit or debit card details through a secure digital token attached to their phone. This will also help the user in tap to pay method on near field communication enabled point of sale terminals and online merchants. At present, this feature is available to the users of Axis, SBI and Kotak. Visa is an American multinational financial services corporation which was founded in 1958 and its headquarters is in California, United States. Next one is who has been appointed as the new chief of National Technical Research Organization recently? Answer is Anil Dasmana. The appointments committee of the cabinet has approved the appointment of Anil Dasmana as the new chief of National Technical Research Organization. He is a 1981 batch officer of Madhya Pradesh Kader and previously served as the chief of RAW from 2017 to 2019. He will replace former Intelligence Bureau Officer Satish Chandraja. National Technical Research Organization is a technical intelligence agency under the National Security Advisor in the Prime Minister's Office which looks after geospatial intelligence and satellite imagery. Next one is who is the winner of Women's 2020 Italian Open Tennis title? Answer is Simona Halep. Simona Halep is the winner of Women's 2020 Italian Open Tennis title. She defeated Carolina Liskova in the final to win the title. And in men's, Novak Djokovic is the winner of the title. So remember, women's title winner of Italian Open Tennis title is Simona Halep and men's title winner is Novak Djokovic. Also remember, recently we discussed about the US Open title winners. In that, men's singles title winner is Dominic Thiem and the women's singles winner is Naomi Osaka. Next question is, the Ministry of Corporate Affairs extended the tenure of company law committee by one year. Who is the head of this committee? Answer is Rajesh Varma. The Ministry of Corporate Affairs has extended the tenure of the company law committee by one year until September 2021. Corporate Affairs Secretary Rajesh Varma is the present chairperson of the committee. This committee has a total of 11 members. The committee was set up to suggest measures to improve functioning of the National Company Law Tribunal and also make recommendations on issues pertaining to implementation of the Companies Act and Limited Liability Partnership Act. The National Company Law Tribunal is a quasi-judicial body in India that adjudicates issues relating to Indian companies. Next one is Zakia Inam passed away recently. What was her profession? Answer is politician. Zakia Inam, the former minister of Rajasthan and three times MLA from Tonk constituency has passed away due to COVID infection. She was the only woman candidate who became MLA three times in Rajasthan. Previously, she handled the ministries of health, women and child welfare in Rajasthan government. Now I'll ask all the questions one by one. Pause the video and write the answer in the comments. First question we discussed was, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has launched Gartak Fiber Project in which state recently? Next question is, First ever direct cargo ferry service unveiled between India and which country recently? Next question, Government unveiled which multi-stakeholder platform to prepare young people career ready as per 21st century? Next one is, When is World Rhino Day observed? Next one is, who is the author of the book titled, Kitchens of Gratitude? Next one, Google Pay has partnered with which financial services corporation for card based payments with tokenization? Next one, 
who has been appointed as the new chief of national technical research organization recently next one who is the winner of women's 2020 italian open tennis title next one the ministry of corporate affairs extended the tenure of company law committee by one year who is the head of this committee next one zakia inam passed away recently what was her profession now we'll learn the vocabulary word for today today's word is philip it means something which acts as a stimulus or boost to an activity example is the reduction of car tax would provide a philip to sales these are the important current affairs for 23rd september if the information is helpful please give a like thank you